What's up everyone? Um, wouldn't it be cool if we could convert our script into one of these fancy looking um, tools inside ArcGIS? Well, thankfully there is a way to do that and it's pretty simple to do. Um, so we're going to take our script and convert it into a, a tool you can use inside the GUI in here. Um, so let's just take a look at how this looks when you open it up. So there's different parameters and you just input it with things. And basically, we're going to create this to match our parameters. So we have a couple parameters here. Points, countries, and outpath. We're just going to convert these into inputs for tools. Um, and to do that, we just need to go over here and go to your workspace. And you can create a new toolbox. And that toolbox is going to hold all of our tools that we make, or our scripts that we convert into tools. So I'm going to put mine in the scripts folder. You can put it in any of these folders. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to make it here. New toolbox. And inside that toolbox, I'm going to add a script. All right. Now we just give our tool a name. I'm going to call it select by location since that's what it's doing. Click next. Um, now it wants to link up to whatever file is going to create or be used in this script. And I'm going to use, or I've been using this script called GIS script. So I'm going to add that here. Next. Okay, now it's asking for, once you open that tool, what's the display name going to be called for the parameters? So the first one, if we take a look at our script, we need points. So we need a, a user to input uh, a path to a points file or the points and then whatever they put in here is going to be stored in that points variable so to do that we go back to arc let's just call this um, since it's the city's points of city let's call it the city shape file and if you go to data type this is going to be a shape file so you need to find so if the user tried to input anything else besides the shape file, it would give them an error. Shape file. All right. Next one was the countries. Country shape file. You can call these whatever you want. This is just a display name. Third was output. Okay. So let's just call this output folder and this type is actually going to be a folder all right and a third input that we need that we haven't added to the script yet this number here we've hard-coded but we need to make this into a variable so up here let's just make a new variable called pop number set that equal to or put it in here, pop number. All right, I'm not setting this equal to anything because we're going to need to change all of these inputs, all of the values, because right here, it's a hard-coded value. But with this new script we're making, we want the user to input something and then have whatever they input be stored in this value. So first, let's put that pop number in here. Pop number. This is going to be a double. All right. Um, first, let's fix our script so we have these inputs here. So if you go to ARC, um, this website, there's something called get parameters as text. And that's basically what we're going to use to get the value from the user. Whatever they input is going to be stored as text into those variables. So we can copy that. And instead of this, you just say arcpy.get parameters as text and the index. So the first time we use this function, it's gonna the value is gonna be zero. This is just the position so it knows what it what it's dealing with. This is going to be one. Just to differentiate these. This, this will be two. This will be three. 
give me these errors because I forgot that arc probably up front. Alright, so what we're doing here, again, this function, get parameters as text, will take whatever the user inputs, take it as a string, and store it in this variable. Now, since it's currently a string, sometimes we we actually need a number. So, right here, remember we used a double last time? We didn't put it in, in quotes because the value we're expecting is actually a number. So, this number, we need to convert this into a number somehow because currently it's a string. So, we can just turn this into a float, which basically just means it has decimals. Float. And that should convert that into a number. Um, we're almost ready to run this. All right, this looks good. Finish. Now let's just take a look at our tool. So look how easy that was to create a cool little GUI interface. Um, one more thing before we run it. Right now, well, actually, let's just go ahead and run it. All right, so the sh uh, city shape file. That's this country shape file output folder. I've been using that outputs and pop number. We made this 50 million before. So let's just run it. All right. It appears to be running, but you'll notice there's no print statements. Nothing's popping up. When we ran it on our script, we cut, we were getting these outputs, but we're not in ARC. And there is a reason for that. We'll fix it. I just wanted to show you what it looked like without. All right, so it finished in 18 seconds. If we visit our output folder, we'll see that some items were created. And it should have been just a few because we, yeah, this looks good. So our script worked. It selected population or countries that were over 50 million and ran the tool. Uh, let me just check on time real fast. Seven. All right, we got time. I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes. Um, so in ArcPy, there's a different way to add print statements. It doesn't Arc. This tool doesn't interpret print statements, so we need to add something built into ArcPy called ArcPy dot or it's called get message or add message. I'll just show you the syntax. It's called add message. And this is basically just treat this as a print statement. So if we just copy that, go back to our script, we can add that in some places. So we're just going to, whoops. And we'll just copy this We'll just like echo this statement here. Um, and we'll also do it for a couple others. Now, if we were to run this in Python right here, it would print both. It prints both messages. And let's just add a finished one too. Oops. All right, let's give that a try. City, country shape file, output folder, pop number 50. All right, and let's delete those outputs. And I also want to add one more statement here, this one. Okay, let's give it a try. Fifty, two, three, four, five. All right, 50 million. All right, so now we can see we're getting some outputs on this screen. Didn't meet the criteria. Didn't meet the criteria. A 
lot of them didn't meet the criteria. Hold on, we've got something. What? Okay. I was confused. It said the United States didn't, but there must be multiple countries that are technically United States. But this is correct. 23 met the criteria. All right, so it looks like our script worked. Um, I'll just pull it in arc just to take a look. So just show you it's the exact same as how we had it before. All right, there you go. So now you know how to make a, a fancy tool in ArcGIS. Um, this looks a lot more impressive. You can show it to people. You can share your scripts with people. Um, and it's just, it's, it looks cooler. So hopefully this was helpful.